Oh man. Sorry. Whoops. We might have a problem here. trying to back the box truck up to this driveway you can see what I mean when I tell you guys that sometimes the bottom of my box truck will hit the ground so we're already pretty close I got like two inches uh, right there uh, maybe four or five inches uh, right there if that hey what's going on guys Austin here with crack and junk removal today's November 2nd uh, it's Saturday we got one job on the schedule for today you can check out the view behind me uh, got a nice little river that runs through here. Uh, we're doing a garage clean out over here in Kingsport, it's a two car garage. Uh, you can see behind me. So, customer reached out to us uh, the other day. She's a realtor, I think, in the area and asked if we could give her a quote to clean out her garage. Uh, I think she said she is moving. So, if you're a homeowner in the Tri Cities and you are relocating or you're moving to the tri-cities and you need help with the home cleanout give crack and junk removal a phone call today phone number is 423-430-3921 you can also check us out online at crackandjunkremoval.com as well as on social media so here's a look at the garage that we have to clean out for our customer she did say to leave this display case uh, looks like she uses it for an animal so it's all taped up too, so we'll leave that. We got, uh, what else? Cardboard box with some type of car, I don't know, equipment. We got some some beach chairs. Um, the refrigerator looks cleaned out, but I'll double check with her. We got a box of shoes. We got some just car cleaning material it looks like up there and also down here we got some clothes we'll probably take those to donation and we got some pictures got a washing machine samsung moisture sensor i uh, got an old headboard some other junk down there and i thought this is pretty cool you got some gym equipment so that's something we can either donate or I don't know, I might be able to find somebody that can use that. So that's everything in the garage. As they say, wait, there's more. So we got this side room in here. Um, oh yeah, we got a lot of stuff in here. Um, lots of stuff in here. Uh, so at least... All the stuff in here looks like it's already in totes, which is nice. And I'll probably save the last three or four totes and put that stuff in there. Uh, it'll make it a lot easier. So we do have some bed frames, or I'm sorry, some box springs to take as well. More shoes. So I didn't get with a customer on this and let her know the price and everything because uh, it's more than what was in the pictures, but that's okay. So I'll catch you guys here in a little bit.
we just loaded the headboard on first, put the big washing machine in because I want to hold that headboard in place and use that headboard as a side to protect the aluminum siding from getting damaged from the inside. And so we're going to continue on. We're going to clean out this garage starting with the big bulky items. That's why I did the headboard and the washing machine. And then after that, it's pretty much just throwing these tubs in and using the last several tubs for some of the junk on the shelves and that'll be it. So I'm going to stay at it, try to get this job done so I can get home at a reasonable time. Move all this stuff so I can open the door up. Uh, let's push this door because I cannot safely get out of this door when it's not open. So we got the box springs in. I forgot to show you. We even still have the pool in the box truck. I didn't go to the landfill yesterday. Uh, I figured I could just keep it in the box truck and throw it with this stuff I have today. So that's what we're doing. So happy to get that done. Got this cobweb hanging on me. Check that out. Oh man. Sorry. Whoops. Uh, good thing this is junk and I'm not a mover. Sorry, this cobweb's getting to me here. It's hanging all over me. All right, big bulky stuff is in. As you can see, we got the box springs, like I said, in there as a side because sometimes stuff will jam into here and it creates all these dents and stuff. You can kind of see one right there. I even got a hole in it. Luckily, I had it repaired. So, all right, we're gonna keep at it. So now we're going to organize the box truck to maximize space for this job and any jobs we get after this. Outside the box, got the mirror, using it as a base to make more space so we can load more on this thing. So hopefully that mirror doesn't break on us, but she's holding up good so far. So I do like having these little buckets; they come in handy. So salvage that a box of junk. Who would have thought, right? Box of junk. Let's see what's in here. We got, uh, looks like some, a little bit of water. We got some nuts and bolts. Uh, oh, we got some tape. Huh. What else is in here? We got tub and floor, caulking, a paintbrush, a little putty knife, and then, yeah, we are in Tennessee, so. Ooh, what about that? Tennessee Vols. Uh, a little 
beanie, another uh, set of mittens in there. So we'll, just, well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put you put you right back there. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get these onto the truck. And well, this one's a little heavier. I'm trying to do this one-handed because again, I forgot my GoPro at home. So we're using the old trusty cell phone. Get video footage. Yeah, it's it's harvest time, boys. It's time to eat. Let's go. All oh, the things you find on a job. We got a broom and a dustpan. I even brought my broom, but hey, we got the little broom here. I don't even have to bend down with this dustpan. Sweep up this glass. So let's go ahead and get this glass picked up. We don't want anybody to step on it cut themselves. No, we don't want that. So. Alright, we'll finish sweeping up once we got all the big items out. And Junk cleared from the back room. We'll give it a good sweep. Now we're on to the small stuff in this back room. Oh, I should use it. I should play a trick on my wife. I don't know, should I? I might be sleeping on the couch if I do that. Uh, it's worth it though. If it was a spider, she definitely wouldn't like it. I'm gonna, maybe I'll play a joke on my kids and put it under their pillow. What else we got here? We got some. Wii games. Oh, remember that Nintendo Wii? Was it Harry Potter? Throw it in there. We got a little Xbox 360, Halo 3, ODST. I don't know. That's too old for that stuff. All right. Let's see. We got I'm trying to put all the small stuff in this container because it's a little flat. So. I'm gonna put that in there, I think. Potpourri. We're stuck on there pretty good. This lays flat. Okay, now we're tackling this big exercise equipment. Uh, you can kind of see what I have in the truck so far. Um, I gotta get this in before I put too much stuff in there. I won't be able to, to fit it, so. Well, that was loud. I may have to stand it up and lean it. I think. it up I think all right we just finished you can see the box truck behind me it's all full let me go ahead and show you the inside we just finished uh, sweeping up so you can see here refrigerator and display shelf stay everything else is all picked up Swept up the garage. It's looking a lot better than it did before. Pulled up that rug that was over here. And yes, even swept up this back room as well. So that will be it for this job. If you need a garage clean out and you're in Johnson City, you know who to call. Crack and Junk Removal. Tri-City's number one. Top choice for junk removal and home cleanouts. See you in the next video.